If your website has been hacked, chances are that you have seen spammy content appearing on your website. The result of that is that it also gets indexed on Google. Now the problem is, if you go ahead and delete all of these links, Google still has them indexed for some time. So when someone is searching for your website on Google, chances are that these links will show up. Now I have emulated some spammy content on my website, on my test website, and I'll show you how it is visible on Google. So I've put in a site search on Google, and as you can see, some of the spammy content, well, planted spammy content is visible here. So I'm gonna show you how we can go ahead and remove it from the Google index as well. Now there are two steps of doing it, or rather two ways of doing it. If there are a lot of links, you will need to create a new sitemap and then submit it to Google for re-indexing. The other option is if there are, say, a fewer URLs, you can go ahead and request these URLs to be taken down. So you can do that by going to Google Search Console. Now on Google Search Console, you can go to the panel on the left. Under indexing, you have the option called removals. In removals, you can post a removal request. Like for example, one of the spammy content links, you can simply paste the URL of the spammy content, hit enter, and the request goes ahead. So this is feasible for smaller ones. So what Google does is it removes the index, but as you can see, it is called a temporary removal because if the URL or the content is still available when Google crawls your website again, they'll go ahead and index it. So you have to remove these, the content and the URLs from your website first and then put them here for removal. Now it works easily for a couple of links if you have it say two, three, max 10. But if you have say about 100 or 200 links that are affected uh, with spammy content and you want to take them, take all of them down. So I'm gonna show you that process as well. So for that, in Google Search Console, I'd want you to take a look at your sitemap. So under indexing, you can click sitemaps. Now this will show all the URLs that has been indexed by Google. And click on it and click open sitemap. If it's a page or a post, you can click on it and see where the spammy links appear. Now in my case, it's on the post sitemap so you can go ahead and copy all of these URLs so once you've copied it I would recommend you to go to Google Sheets that way you can separate all of these fairly easily paste now you only have the URLs in one table so over here you will see all the URLs that Google has crawled. You would have to go through this manually to figure out which ones are spammy and which ones are clean. So that way you can find URLs that you would want to get rid of and make a list of that. And once you have the list ready, I would want you to save it as a .txt file. You can go to Google Docs, paste them there, and then download it as a .txt file. I've done that here. And as you can see, this is what the links look like. Like a few of them are the spammy ones, but I've just added a few others as well. Uh, for example, if you have so many links that you need to re-index. So once that is ready, the next step is to go to WordPress and upload this .txt file. So for example, I'm using WP IDE as a file manager here. Over here, I will upload the .txt file that I've just created. Now you need to keep this file name in mind because you will need to hit the URL directly. So I've uploaded it in WP content and my file URL is slash spam URL .txt. So I'll open a new tab, type in my website name slash WP content slash spam url dot txt now this is case sensitive so you need to get this right now once i hit this as you can see 
you all the contents of the txt file are visible here which means it's readable as a next step you should go to the posts and in the posts you can go ahead and delete all the spam content that is on the website now once that you've deleted all of them the task now is to ask google to re-index your site now specifically it's better if you point them just to the websites that are spammy because you've already deleted them and that is why we've created the sitemap so that sitemap tells google please go to these websites and crawl them again so when google crawls these websites again it will no longer find them your website will return a 404 and google will de-index them so to do that you would have to go to sitemaps under indexing and in the add new sitemap the url that we just went to which is wp-content slash spam url that is the url you should submit so i've submitted that url hit submit and once it's submitted google will then go through all these urls the submission was successful they've already discovered 13 pages because our sitemap had 13 urls it can be 100 200 300 depending on the number of spam links uh, or spam posts that's been generated on your website now once it's done google will go ahead and crawl this and soon enough the pages that are indexed on google search will go away now there's one more step that you should do once that is finished you and you no longer find any spammy links are you know visible in your google search you need to come back to this page which is sitemaps under indexing you need to hit the new sitemap that you have created which is spamurl.txt click the three dots at the top and hit remove sitemap so now that the work is done you you no longer need that sitemap to be there so you can just go ahead and remove that sitemap so you've removed all the content you've asked google to go through these urls again google can't find it it gets de-indexed and you've removed the sitemap so you're all done now so that is how you get rid of all the spammy content from your website and from google's search index as well